Hey guys, uh, today I'll be showing you my Firefly turret, which I modified. Uh, so yep, this is uh, the turret part. Drill your rear loading holes to your de desired size. Uh, for me, I'm using PETG, uh, one foot. So, yep, drill your holes out and uh, group your barrel material in place and uh, install a barrel space if you have one. I got this from Louis C3, he does yep, great stuff. So this is the turret part and for the back, um, this piece is a uh, 3 quarter inch PVC, uh, inside will be your uh, 3 quarter inch, this is a coupler, so the PVC will nest inside and your schedule 80 uh, PVC will nest inside that so all three will be nested inside each other and on the other side I uh, super glued a foam disc thingy um, the original hole was smaller so I just took a piece of uh, brass and uh, punched it out the hole <coughs> uh, thereafter uh, I epoxy puttied it to this piece uh, super glued it first at the at the mid middle part where it would uh, come into contact after the super glue cured then I put epoxy around for uh, reinforcement yep and once this is done it will go onto your turret like this so uh, yep so when, oh, once you're done with this uh, you just connect this part to your blaster Yep, you can use this whole turret system. Alright. I will now be going through the problems of this turret. Um, some of you may know that when you tighten this, this part, uh, it will only tighten at the center, okay? Meaning that when it, when it goes down, this part will come out as you can see over here. You look closely. Yep, you can see only the the center part tightening and all the outer parts will start to loosen so as you can see there's a slight uh, gap here and this will spoil your seal so what I did was uh, you can tell that the foam disc is tapered downwards to the center so uh, this way the outer part is thicker the inner part is thinner so this will help uh, even out your seal when you are tightening this piece and the next problem is um, once you are done with this turret originally I wanted it to be used this, this way uh, however when you do if, if you put it this way uh, this whole the turret will start to drop down because because of the weight of all this additional stuff over here so because of this weight uh, uh, it will start to drop down and this part will also create a gap so the one way to uh, fix this problem is just use it the other way and uh, yeah actually the weight will act downwards and create a good seal with uh, this this whole part uh, yep all right okay guys so this is um, the whole gun with the tire attached on so yes it's very long and now the stock is collapsed so it doesn't look that long uh, but in actual fact, it's probably about uh, two and a half to three feet with the stock collapsed. Okay, so anyway, the problem I was discussing earlier was that um, now that the turret is um, this way, uh, you'll be shooting from the bottom barrel, so you can't really aim properly, and you have this whole uh, piece sort of blocking your line of sight. But actually, it's not too bad. And th but a good thing about this way is that you have all your rear loading holes uh, easily accessible from the top because it's from the bottom then you have uh, trouble, trouble uh, placing your darts in yeah placing your darts in and also because of this uh, pump handle it would be I think I think I can't uh, place it downwards actually with this blaster because of the pump handle uh, but yeah whereas for other blasters like a plus bow uh, Yep, I could place it in a downward uh, position. All right. So yeah, if you look down the, the front, that's what it looks like. Okay. Okay, guys. So now for the firing test. Uh, 
I'll be shooting off uh, four darts and you can see I already loaded three so the last one will go inside here and yep uh, the good thing about this turret is you can also turn it either direction and yep so like say for 3k uh, the way I modified it only allows me to turn it uh, this direction so when I load it from this side I gotta turn it all the way until it reaches the bottom to fire whereas this one I can just turn it this way or, or the other way yep so uh, I'll be firing off four darts and uh, first two shots will be f five pumps and the uh, next two will be six pumps all right and aiming at that uh, super soaker hydro cannon box okay five pumps okay uh, next night okay next one six dots uh six pumps Anyway, we're not gonna take a look at it. Um, I can tell you that two darts went through and two bounced off, which I find uh, rather strange because um, uh, the seal I'm getting is actually very good. When I blow down the barrels, I cannot feel any air escaping. Uh, yeah, so the seal is very good, but I do not know why it seems to underperform my uh, when I'm using using a hopper clip instead. So, but I haven't tested the ranges, so it could, it could be different. All right, guys. So that's it. My Firefly turret, which can be used uh, with any PVC uh, coupler setup. Yep. Um. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh. Thanks for watching.